What's crack a lacking everybody? It's JT the OCG back again here with some baseball. Um, well, we beat the Rangers in the first game, but it came at a heavy cost. Uh, the hero of that game fractured his foot. So Cedric Mullins is out again for extended period of time with a fractured foot. This is a very serious injury. He's only played 64 games, and he has been dynamite in those 64 games. He is the stir. He is the stirrer of our drink, and on. Oh, excuse me. Oh my goodness. Sorry about that. And unfortunately, uh, you can see he played 148 games. 126 games previous two years and um we can't make him we can't make this up uh 37 walks 38 strikeouts uh it is going to be tough for us to make the playoffs i see us uh with a heavy losing streak now um we called up um uh malquin canelo uh, he's been in our minor league system since the beginning of this. Uh, he was in Double A. Now um, he is. In, he was in Triple A. He did have some time with Baltimore this year, as you can see. Not very good. Only bat at two oh six. Struck out a little, uh, way too much. Um, not a lot of slugging in him. And it's just. Uh, I mean, he does have. Uh, he's a good bunter, and he does have some. Uh, defense, his durability went down real, real, oh my goodness. But he does have some decent fielding. Um, we are going to have Austin Hayes. Um, I'm, Austin Hayes, from a defensive standpoint, is a very good center fielder. So I'm not worried about that. Uh, uh, but he does not have the production that and do, cannot do everything that uh, Cedric Mullins can do. So we're got other people are going to have to step up here. Adley Rushman's going to have to step up. Money Marikami, who's been slumping uh, recently, has to step up. Ryan Mountcastle, who has been slumping, but it, you know, he's not in a cold spell, but he's been slumping. He's going to have to step it up. Uh, Mancini's just going to have to stay healthy. But um, yeah, that that's what that's what's going to happen here. Uh, we are facing the Rangers for two more games, but then we have to face the Expos, still dangerous, 66 and 65. And the Yankees, who are in first place, we're two games, two and a half games behind them now. Then we're facing Atlanta. Then we're going at Montreal. Uh, Minnesota should be okay. Oakland should be okay. Uh, but Toronto is always tough for us. And then we're finishing up with the Yankees and the Red Sox. And the Red Sox are making a push, too, to overtake us for the wild card. However, the Red Sox, Rafael Devers is hurt. And he's hurt for a couple of weeks. He'll be back by this series, but Boston may be out of it by then. I wanted to look at just the awards before we go <clears throat> into anything. Uh, the awards so far, Xander Bogarts. Mike Trout and Rafael Devers, who is, like I said, is injured. Oh, he's only got an ACL sprain, so he's going to be only out for two weeks. But, uh, yeah, Bogarts is going, um, doing, trying to do what Vlad Guerrero did last year, get a triple crown. Uh, in the National League, it's Austin Riley uh, and his, part, and his uh, partner, his uh, colleague there, uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. Now, Austin Riley hit... 37 to overtake Freddie Freeman and prevent Freddie Freeman from getting a triple crown where it would have been two triple crown winners in, in a league, which would have been amazing. But he overtook Freddie Freeman with 37 home runs. But this is more his ilk. He's, he's a 25 to 30 home run kind of guy. Uh, Acuna is, uh, is, has been healthy the last two years, and it shows... Uh, and he's a guy that should be hitting around 35, 30, 35 home runs, 30 to 35. Uh, but hit, but also getting, you know, 35 to 40 homers and 10 or more triples. His stolen bases should be higher. Like, he, he should be getting 40 stolen bases. 
And then Joey Gallo, who's batting 251 for some odd reason. And that's the reason he's doing so well is because he's, his batting average for some reason is high. That's got to plummet soon. Uh, Cy Young Award, Chris Sale, back and better than ever. Um, although Garrett Cole is way more deserving than Chris Sale. Over in the National League, Corbin Burns, who I think has been in second place for the last two years. He's been the second place runner-up Cy Young Award runner. Maybe he'll get it this time. Uh, but again, Zach Wheeler should be the guy that's in the lead here, just simply due to his whip and his strikeout to walk, uh, his strikeouts. Um, reliever, no qualifiers. That's so weird. Rookie of the year, Bryson Stott, 257, 13 homers for the Phillies. Brandon Donovan uh, traded to the Tritons in 2021. And then you got Rene Martinez, who is the catcher for the Cardinals, uh, but is injured. So Yadier Molina is playing more than he was going to do in his last year. Uh, Jonah Bride, where the Twins got him from the Rockies, I want to say. Or the Rangers. I think they got him from the Rangers for somebody. I forgot who they got him for. And then our own Brad Zunica, 286 homers. And then Ben Bowden, um, relief pitcher for the A's, is in there. And 27 years old, the old, older rookie. Um, Hank Aaron, Gold Glove. So Miles Myolakis, uh, Pineda, who got traded to the Padres from the Twins, Trevor Bauer. Um, oh, wow. Oh, wow. This is something. For some reason, Otani is not showing up because I put him as a reliever because he's playing right field. So he's not showing up here. Oh, that is so good. That is so so John Means might get a gold glove. Wonderful. I just have to remember that. Uh, Salvador Perez might win a gold glove. Why Gary Sanchez won that last year, I don't know. Carson Kelly, wow, has overtaken Riamuto for the gold glove. That's very odd. First base, Freddie Freeman again is in first place there. Cody Bellinger is beating out Matt Olson, which I don't know. Matt Olson's probably got a better percentage, but oh, who knows. Um, and Vlad Guerrero's in the mix. Uh, Jonathan Scope is in the mix here for second base. Although he played a lot of first base, which shows that this thing doesn't really know what the hell it's doing. Uh, Cesar Hernandez, was, you know, he's been playing center. Oh, no, that's wrong Hernandez. Kiki is the one. Cesar Hernandez here. Third base, Jose Ramirez. That's the only one that I'm not kind of... Sh well, Freddie Freeman, I'm not shaking my head out. Or Salvador Perez. But Jose Ramirez and Urshela, I'm shaking my head at that. Urshela won in 2021, and I couldn't believe it. Uh, shortstop, Nicky Lopez. That's odd. He really hasn't been playing shortstop. He's playing more second base than shortstop, but again. Uh, Ahmad Rosario. Oh, and there's James Campbell there. 983 is his uh, feeling percentage, though, but he's... Up there in assists. But I think this is going to be Amada Rosario with his 991. Castro has not been playing that much shortstop. Ryan Mountcastle, he's a horrible left fielder. And yet, for some reason, he's going to win. I don't know about that. Uh, center field, Michael Taylor. About time Michael Taylor got in the mix. He hasn't been in the mix since I started this. And he's the best center fielder in the league. He's got such a strong arm. Um, Juan Soto, Mookie Betts, Saya Suzuki, and Max Kepler, who is now an Oakland A. I think that, those kind of make sense. Uh, silver Slugger for a pitcher, Brett Ebner. Oh, he's a two-way player over there for the Tritons. Uh, but Aaron Nola, 325 with two homers. He hit one against us, actually. I played against the Phillies earlier this year, and then, yeah. 
But anyways, let's get to the nitty gritty and play. D.L. Hall is making his major league debut. It's time now for baseball from the great state of Texas in Globe Life Field. Tonight, game two of this three-game series between the Baltimore Orioles and the Texas Rangers. Alongside Mark DeRosa and Dan Plezak as we get set for a pretty hotly anticipated major league debut on the mound, Dan. Yeah, you know what, Matt? This organization's been waiting for this guy for a long time. It'll be interesting to see early on if he's affected by any nerves. You never know what kind of start you're going to get from a guy in his debut, but from the word we've heard, this guy pounds the strike zone, and if he does that, his stuff should take care of it. Major League Baseball on the show is next. Cole Wynn, the native of Colorado, gets the start on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, man, we're getting a look at a guy that's really been struggling lately. Look at those last walks. Three starts, he has 79 walks and 111 innings pitched. We have zero. to be very lots patient. Of base runners, lots of hits, and lots of walks, and that doesn't add up to very good performances. So he's going to look to turn things around in this one here today. Striding in is Austin Hayes, and there's a look Austin. at his home and road splits so far this year. First pitch on the way. And we are underway in Arlington as the first pitch of the night is taken here for ball one. <coughs> and fellas, you take a look at this Rangers team. Oh, Elvis Andres, they got him back. Trying to put together a complete ball game as first they've pitch. lost their last two. Yeah, Matty, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport, you have to have short term memory. You have to let it go. They can get it going back in the right direction today. Weather shouldn't be much of a factor. Uh, 71, 71 degrees, degrees in September in Texas is so beautiful. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' leadoff hitter. The 2-1. Oh. He's in there for strike number two. I shouldn't have let that go. Hit out towards second. Fielded cleanly. And there's one gone to start the night. And now the starting lineup for the visiting Baltimore Orioles. Dero, how do they lock up a series victory here on the road? Yeah, Maddie, this team has been putting up a lot of runs lately from top to bottom, just swinging the bat super nice, past the baton mentality. Guys not trying to do too much, trusting in the teammates behind them. Uh, so Mateo now looks like a bumblebee. Jorge Mateo. This will take a look at a slider here that finds the zone for strike one. He that was a hanger. Play last night, but clearly back in the starting nine for this one. Oh, we did. Yeah, we did win yesterday's game, six to three. Hit down the third baseline. Uh, this will be a foul. Oh, almost. Good going, ball boy. Bases are empty. One man out. Strike three what? called, and that's a pitcher's pitch right there. Two what? Gone. Well, that call looked like oh, it was a little man. in the pitcher's favor, but that it wasn't hurt. outrageous. Hey, the listen, I calling balls and strikes is a really tough job, man, and see. even the best are going to miss some from time to time, especially when they're sort of borderline like that last one. Not sure the hitter would want to hear that, though. So here's Trey Mancini. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. They'll start things here at 316. 11 home runs and 34 driven in. Of course, this pitcher walks like 80 guys, but he's not going to walk anybody for me. I want to talk about being in the zone. This guy's been raking lately, and it all starts with his pitch selection. Two great takes, and he's almost daring the pitcher just go ahead and challenge him. Two balls and a strike to the Orioles' first baseman. I love that pitch right there. An aggressive fastball that catches the corner. Yeah. The hitter knew it was coming and still couldn't do anything with it. Well, I don't want anything to do with that one. And I want it going in there. That's what I want. Into right field for their first hit of the ball game. Yeah. Hey, there's a nice knock by the three-hole hitter. I know there's two outs, but they always say with your man coming up, the number four hole monster, as soon as he steps in the batter's box, there's a runner in scoring position.
All right, money's got to become money. Standing in now, money oh. Hirakami, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls in his strike. Grooved it right down the middle. Oh, I'm not happy taking that one. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Oh boy. Okay, so what's he gonna do? All right, good. Nice, hey, that nice waste pitch. Close, but I'm hit right now. I'm still sitting on that heater. I like those powder Mancini blues. Leads off first with a pair of outs in the inning. Good going. All right, we're playing station to station here. Wow, looked like an easy beginning of this inning. Gets the first two guys out, then the three and four hitters all of a sudden start locking in on him, and now he's uh, got to get through this fifth hole hitter to get out of this inning unscathed. Yeah, he's definitely put his feet to the fire right here. This number five guy, he's known. He sits in that five hole to drive in runs, and he's smelling ribbies right now. All right. At the plate, Brad Zunica. Oh, and he misses it. Oh, man. All right, we're going to see D.L. Hall. And now the Rangers will get their shot in a scoreless ball game. D.L. Hall is ready to go as he'll be on the hill for Baltimore. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? Well, Matt, the first thing we're going to find out is how well this guy pitches with little sleep. I can't imagine knowing that you're going to be the next day starting pitcher the night before. This is a young guy Here making his first well, start. Listen, you can only Not make your stop. debut one time, so good. there has to be lots going on and in this good. guy's mind. Hopefully he can settle down early and pitch well in his debut. Here it comes now to Andrews. As he takes a cold strike on the black, it's 0 and 1. Guys, the Orioles. Well, Andrus, I guess, was picked up tonight. in free agency again, so they brought him back. He's got his old number one that he played for the Rangers for a long time. A chance to put our eyeballs on one of the best teams in baseball right now. This team has played so well. Their manager has been on point. Every move he makes is working. Timely hitting. Great defense. Good bullpen. The starters have been on point. This is going to be special. Well, our bullpen has not been on point. And this is popped up near second base. Campbell moving to his left. One out. Batting second. The a seven. moment now in Arlington to have a look at the Rangers starting lineup. Dan Plezak, who are you focused on? You know, this lineup is really needing a lot more out of Elvis Andrus these days. Look, he's coming off a month where he hit under 200. That's under the Mendoza line, which is like almost unheard of. I guess some guys do it, but man, this guy's really struggling. He's lucky he's still in the lineup. So here's um, Albert Almora next. Yeah, One that's ball, not. No strikes to count. He's not the starter. Starter is Jonathan Aruz, who they got from free agency when the Red Sox didn't pick him up. And now here's a ball hit pretty well out toward right center field. And Hayes. And yes. he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Okay. Batting third. The second baseman. That will bring in Nick Solak. No one aboard for him, and two gone here in the first. I think this guy kills left-handed pitching. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. And a strike to Very the nice. One and one. Got a pitch to the ballpark's dimensions right here. Love the execution of that pitch down in the zone. Got to keep the ball in the yard. Fastball just inside. Just missed with that heater, but even if he wanted to swing, I don't think he could have caught up to that one. I'm not even looking at how fast Passes he's throwing. Here with two men out. Had a good cut there, Ooh, but he swung at it in the dirt. Two and two. 
Well he's just two outs into his major league debut on the mound and so far he doesn't seem nervous or like he's trying Ooh. to do too much. That was a bad pitch but run. got away with it. Stepped on the bag himself and the inning is over. And inning in the books tonight still scoreless here on the show. Yuzniel Diaz is the next to bat. He's back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Here's the first pitch to him. The 1 0. And oh, and Yuzniel Diaz continues. Yes! This dude has been faltering, and I sent him to double A. He was doing so bad in triple A, and it seems to have been a wake-up call. As the O's are on the board first, it's one to nothing. Hey, listen, there's an old adage in baseball that solo home runs won't kill you. This is one of the top hitters in that lineup, so a home run, a solo home run right here, it's not the end of the world. That's what I said. Into the box now, Taylor Davis. Okay. As the first pitch to him is off the plate for a ball, one and zero. I love Taylor Davis. I love that high leg kick. Oh, who cares about his batting average? He's a backup catcher, and he's my veteran catcher. That's why we're we we're playing him today. Swung on and missed, strike one. We want him reassuring our young pitcher. I know it's just a video game. None of none of this is true, but. <laughs> In real life, that's what you want. You want your veteran. Bases you put your veteran catcher, out. even if he's a backup, you put him with your young starter. Just calm him down. Swing and he pops him up. Solak over to his right. One out. Clear ball. So here's how the Rangers are positioned defensively. And let's focus oh, on they picked up Bobby the Dow back the too. Premier positions in the game, and that's Elvis Andrews. Listen, when I watch this guy, I can't help but think Omar Vizquel. Came into the league, was all glove, and figuring it out at the plate, and has consistently gotten better offensively while never losing a step at the glove. As he'll take a look at a high strike that time, it's nothing in one. 276, the average coming in for him. Three homers, 27 driven in. Wind up and the 0 1. Nope. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. And there are our umpires calling balls and strikes is Mr. Ed Drummond. Yeah, Matty. Hey, you know what, Dero? This Ed Drummond, he's a good umpire. Fair umpire, good ball and strike umpire. Pretty much straight down the road. That's all you look for, Dan. Just be consistent. I don't care if you're given two to three inches off the outside corner, but you can't do it on the inside corner. If you're going to stick to one thing and stay consistent with it, no player will have a gripe with you. Orioles well, that's good to know. Only one nothing lead here in inning number two. Called strike that oh. time. It's even a two okay. And two. Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch was a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy. Oh, game. struck him out. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. That swing tells me he was really trying to get a pitch out front and rip it down the line, but that wasn't a great pitch to do it on. It's really not the best two strike approach either. To the plate now, D.L. Hall. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Wouldn't it be something if his he got his first hit and it was a home run? The 1-0 home. And this is lined hard to deep left. Garcia ah. will get there and he puts it away to retire the side. Orioles on the board Diaz first just thanks to the solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. Continues to rake as soon as he was called Baltimore. up in September. Actually, I think he was called up before then. That would be Adolis Garcia. Adolis Garcia. The right fielder. They also picked up. As 
Pirates. He'll go after the first pitch to him and comes up empty. It's strike one. What curveballs? Making his debut on the mound today, as we've mentioned. His performance in this one could be a good barometer as to whether he's ready to deal with major league hitters at this point in his career. Yeah, Matt, this guy wasn't really the most highly touted prospect coming up through the minor league system, but one of the things he does, he throws strikes, and if he continues to pitch like he did in the minor leagues here at the big league level, there's no reason why he shouldn't be able to stay here and pitch very competitive baseball. Swing and a miss as he ran that in on Yeah, that curveball is going to be dominant today. I just okay. Think after seeing both those pitches right there, 96. You have to be on the fastball, or you're not going to catch up. If you're sitting off speed, that fastball is going to blow right by you. The count now at two and two. Got to be careful with him, though. He can launch it. High fastball. Hit the other way oh. out to the right field. Didn't get all of it. Run for the right fielder. Ooh. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Batting fifth. The left fielder. Okay, here's how the birds line up today on defense. And guys, in this one today, we get to watch Gold Glover at first base. Watch the way he manipulates the bag with his footwork. Watch the way he bails his teammates out with picking balls out of the dirt. Can't, can't stress this guy's importance enough. So here is Avisayo Garcia. As he'll look at a He's been ball. traded twice since we started Numbers this. On the year, 272, 25 traded from and 65 RBIs. Uh, Milwaukee to the Tritons. And then traded from the Tritons to the Rangers. And ever since he One came to Texas, he's been absolutely phenomenal. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that will qualify as the Rangers' first hit. There's a hard hit ground ball. Pitcher not able to get a glove on it. Hard single up the middle. The first yeah, watch your Great pitch, right though. There, Dan sent it back right where it came from. That will bring up Bobby Dahlbeck as he'll wait out a breaking pitch here that finds the zone for strike one. Good first Lord. Shot for him here with a runner at first now and one away. Dude's hitting 338. Now I remember the Red Sox traded him to the Dodgers and then he just really sucked on the Dodgers. But he I guess like he likes Texas. Right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0-2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. No offer at the curve. All right, he's not he's biting on the curveball. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. That's what I just said. There, he didn't look for that one. He couldn't pull the trigger, and there are two away. First major league strikeout. Three there we go. There. He's notched that his first seven. career the major league baseman. strikeout. Well, Matt, if he can become a consistent yeah. strikeout pitcher, you have to figure his career is going to end up being a solid one. All the best pitchers at this level have at least one pitch that they can go into in tough situations. So we'll see if he becomes one of those guys as his career goes along. The batter will be Josh Young as the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. Batting average down in the low two tens, 11 home runs, and 33 driven in. Another rookie. And he misses with it, one and one. And he missed the target there. Oh, boy. Ball, and it's two and one now. What's going on? Is he leading off? Now a throw over, and the runner will get back standing. He's set, and the 2 1 pitch rolled slowly down the third baseline. Money is money. Barehanded. 
one left for Texas. It remains one nothing. All set for the start of the and we'll come back with highlights the when they happen. Mancini. Bye-bye. No chance to make a play on that one. D.L. Hall in trouble here. Two outs, two men on. Fastball didn't miss it's three and two. It's a full count now, three and two. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. Three-two pitch. Got him with the curveball. Got him on strikes. Rangers leave a pair. Next 0-2. Hit high and deep. Out oh, of and D.L. Hall gives it up to the other rookie. So a solo shot down the line in left. 12 home runs for him now thus far. And the Rangers crack the scoreboard. It's now a 2-1 game. That's one of those pitches you wish you could take back as soon as it leaves your hand. But guess what? There are no delete or rewind buttons in baseball. That's a mistake, and it was a good job by his opponent to make him pay for it. The pitcher, number 28. At the plate now, Jonah Hine. Tries to go the other way as this is hit in the air down the right field line. And a dive, but it rattles in and out of the glove. Oh, the and use Neil Diaz. And you can see double. that he is not a good defensive no right fielder like Hayes is. So, he's got to feel pretty good after that double. Not to take anything away from him, but I think I Oh, and the Rangers have Eric Hosmer. That's one of those gift pitches, not the location. Oh, yeah, and Nate Lowe is injured for the year, so that's why they got this guy. From the belt, kicks and deals. Breaking ball. That's in the Yankees got him, but he was expendable. We've seen this before. Fastballs in, then breaking balls away. That's been his plan of attack throughout the first half of this game. One and two now. From the belt, kicks and deals. Hey, that's just a great mix of pitches right there, and that's what this guy's going to do if he's going to keep this team off balance. Another one-two delivery. And this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Now a ball lying toward the Oh, please get it. There we go. Oh, he's going to tag up. Got him. Oh. Way to get out of it. What a great defensive play. Great going, Zunica. going to slide safely into third. He wasn't out by very much, but I don't care. You can't be giving up outs at third base. Yeah, that is a cardinal sin. Here's Elvis Andrus now. This will lay off a slider too low, ball one. A hit in two tries. One of their guys so tried to steal third. He got caught earlier in the game. Ball on a strike. One ball, one strike. One one home. Swing and a liner. Oh! Leap here, but it ticks off his glove. And Good play by Money Marikami. Couldn't throw. get him because Andrus can run, but Jiminy Christmas. Albert. Albert. Here's the versatile outfielder Albert Almora Jr. comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First pitch of the AB on its way as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. That was a classic two-hole hitter move right there, giving his boy a chance to steal a bag. Got to be honest, in today's game, you don't see too many guys take that. Play. Second stolen base by Andrus. He's safe at second base. Hey, it's almost impossible to throw a base runner out that gets a lead that big. And plus, this catcher's not known for having a cannon of an arm. Hit on the ground is short. Got out of it.
Rangers pick up uh -oh, a run it's here the only on player the I've seen line. that only has one batting glove. Five innings here tonight. It's the Orioles two and the Rangers one. Colby Allard takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Ooh, Allard's having a bad series. Power threat, Trey Mancini. They'll start things off in the Baltimore sixth. Yeah, Matt, that last AB was a changeup that was way up in the zone, and that ball got smoked. Listen, if you're going to throw that changeup, you have to try to keep that thing at the knees or below. He can ill afford to throw waist high to belt high changeups. Now the 1 0. This is lined to left. No. All right. And Drops. Hit, so the leadoff man is aboard. Murakami. Dan, right here you see a situation where no doubles defense can, comes back to bite you. As a pitcher, are you even aware when guys are playing a foot off the track? I'll be honest with you, Dero. You're so concerned about it on the mound trying to get that white ball to that dark brown or black glove that I never really ever turned around to even though it's where they were playing. I was concerned about getting the guy out swinging the bat. Money Murakami is at the plate as he looks at ball one. He's one for two in this one. Ah, so I don't. We didn't. I don't think we walked once against Cole Wynn. He's looked at for the first but we hit time. two homers, two solo shots off of them. Oh, Boston Hayes did uh, right did no swing at ball four, the so it would have been one walk. But Cole Wynn did surprisingly well. And Mirakami is weak against lefties. Hit out towards second. But and that's through he gets a CNI single, so that works. Second, and there are two aboard now. Boy, Two on, no out. Swing it like this team. This doesn't matter. They bring in a new relief pitcher, right? And he gets greeted with back-to-back -back base hits. Yeah, exactly. That's what you want to do. In today's day and age of bullpen down your throat, you very rarely see back-to-back -back right. knocks when he's And Zunica is not as weak against lefties contact-wise, but he, he doesn't have a lot of power versus lefties. And they're jumping all over. Brad Zunica stands in as he looks at a cold strike. But he doesn't really need power here. I'm not looking for a three-run homer here. I'm just looking to get the runners. Upper part of the wow. Taken for a really? Well, the O's have been I don't like that, that one. Big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it. But now would be a great time for that. Ready on 0-2. At the letters, but called high, it's a ball. Big spot right here. That's a great. And why is it always these guys that come in with ERAs over five? He's still in the driver's For seat some right reason, they start pitching like freaking Jacob DeGrom against me. A one two. This is swung on and popped up. Ah, uh, not good. Territory now behind third. Young is over and he puts it away for the. Well, the only reason I, sw exactly I, I, I sw swung at that one is because last time, last time he called it a strike, so and that looked like it was too close to let go. I don't remember the last time I hit two home runs in a game. I think it was with Mancini. Alright. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And the triples leader is gonna get another one. The relay, but he is in there with a triple. Of course they feel good about Number 12 for him. All right, we got to do a mound visit here. All right. All right, I'm going to bring him in. Here comes the Baltimore skipper out of the dugout on his way to the mound. 
And it looks as though that's going to be all for his starter here tonight. So for the time being, he stands to be the winning pitcher, but he is responsible for the possible time run over a third. Jordan Yamamoto will come on in relief here and appear in game number 25 on the year so far. Yamamoto back from Triple A because Mickey Janis has his elbow inflammation. Uh, all right, so I hate to do it with a guy like this. But we're going to have to play shallow. And he's got way too much power, though. Jeez. We'll see if that works out. So here's Avisayu Garcia. Hard to ah. Yep, yeah, but they tie it up. I like that he didn't try to do too much there. All he needed was a ground ball to tie this thing up, and that's exactly what he does. That's great situational hitting. First pitch on its way, as he can't catch up on a fastball at the letters, and it's strike one. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch either. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Hayes on the run for it. Oh no. And that's where Cedric Mullins is. And he is in the third. Wait a minute. I think I think that was me. This is a decision for him to try for third because now he has the play right. That was me. That was me. Oh no. And he makes it all the way See, it says always. I put always, so Hayes was playing shallow. Oh no. And now it appears the outfield oh. will shift and assume a more straight up alignment. Oh man. Josh Young. That was definitely all me. If he was playing where he should have been playing, instead of shallow, he would have caught that. And there's another. Oh, and he's got two homers. Oh, good job. Good job by Josh Jung, the young rookie. And now you know why Yamamoto has spent the triple A. So who are we going to bring in? Now we're going to bring in Travis Demerit. Travis Demerit will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. As a look, now the pitch. 190 is the batting average coming in. Two home runs, nine driven in. comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss and he's in control. No, not good. Flares this one over Ford first. Oh, and a double play, the yeah, worst scenario back. you could have. Wow. Are they going to show a replay of that one? Now a swing and he gets him to pop it up. Coming on. Oh, and Jordan there's finally a good play. Great play and there's two finally guys. a good play in right field today. Down the first baseline. Oh, and what a play by Mancini. So it's no runs on a hit, no errors, and a man left. Here it goes. It's the Rangers four and the Orioles And this two. is definitely showing how we are without our captain, basically. Um, Cedric Mullins. We're just not the same team. Bad defense in right field. Slightly above average in center field, but not great. Looking for base runners here as they're down two playing on the road. Not an easy and you can see where Money Marikami is just basically an average third baseman. Knocked down some balls, but of course he's not good enough to make the plays. A 1-0 delivery. 
hit in the air down the left field line. Oh, I was but late on that one. Wind up being a foul ball. Late on that one. Um. The one one. Waves and, and that's oh that curveball. Somehow, with Money Marikami, I, I always fish on that inside curveball. Yeah, and that has to be his mentality at the plate right now, Matt. He can't be the hero, so he needs to do what he can to give the guy... Run, 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 run. Oh, he tagged him. There's one down. And stepping in, Brad Zunica. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Okay. Watch, he'll throw it right down the middle. Nah, out, low and outside. Exactly. All that would have done is uh, hit it to third or short. Just a bit too much run right. on the sinker that time as it misses off the outside for ball one. There we go, base hit. That'll get on through into center, and he's got himself a one-out hit. Well, you're usually in this situation looking for a bloop and a blast. He didn't want to bloop it, and he hit a missile, bringing the tying run to the plate. Let's see if they can capitalize. He has Neil Diaz. Does he have any more magic left in him? Yep, right down the freaking middle. Play victim last time around. Oh, by the way, we got Hector Neris from the Phillies. He was having a horrible year. As you can see, he's been worse with us. And uh, we also got Rodriguez, R Richard Rodriguez from the Pirates, who were trying to get rid of him because his contract is up. And he was asking for way too much. And look at him 5.72. Of course, he's worse with us. But he was not, he was 5.5 something with the Pirates and seven blown saves. He lost his closure job with them. So those are the two trades we got. We didn't have to give up a lot for him. Keegan Aiken is uh, a converted starter. is actually our best freaking relief pitcher. Uh, Cole Sulcer, I think he made the all-star squad. Tell you the truth. I'll have to look at that later. But I think Cole Sulcer made the... He was doing really well. So... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Big pitch coming here late, so we'll step out and ask the time. Zunica, Did I say? First with one out. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Ready and waiting. Don't get tired over there, Seltzer. Just in case we tie it. Just in case we tie it. And I think he tied it. Center field. Back goes Garcia at the track, and just short of a home run. This ball. Son of a bitch! I didn't want to go because I thought he was gonna dive. Oh my God! Five doubles. The bat. The ball's leaving the ballpark. He had a home run last time, and he almost had another one here. Nothing wrong with a double off the wall, though. Oh my God! Yeah, it is. If we get two outs, yes, it is. Son of a bitch. Um. And here, look at, look at Yusniel Diaz. Um. Uh, first of all, Yusniel Diaz. He's got seven hits, or eight hits now. Five of them are doubles, and one's a home run. This dude just launches stuff. But Taylor Davis is going to get pinch hit for Adley Rushman's coming in. Adley Rushman will be called upon here to hit. With All right, Adley. On the line. First pitch on the way. Oh. He'll enter play here with an average just over 250. 18 homers and 48 driven in. Comes set and the 0-1. Down in the way, ball one. Second and third here, one man out. And that 
misses. Two and one. Two and one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. Two balls and a strike. Here it is. There it is. We tied it up. We got it. Tying run is into score from second. It's a four-four game. A two-run double by Adley Rushman. How about that is a huge base hit here at the top of the ninth after trailing by two. Yeah, Dan, you can attest to this. The last three outs, I don't care what anyone says, they're the toughest outs to get. Rafael Montero takes over on the mound in the tie ball game. There is one gone here in the top of inning number nine. Now, who's the manager again? Chili Davis, right? Campbell, it's been a rough go of things at the plate for him so far, but his guys are looking for him to change that right. Yeah, here. come on, yeah, man. Just get us. In a tight game Just match, get a double. Especially when you're kind of due to do something productive. All right. All right, so he's ready and waiting. Harris is warming up. Here's the first pitch. In Whoa. There, it's now the Rangers get a reliever up and throwing in the bullpen as a right hander's begun to warm up out there. Go ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. This is on the ground over the first. Oh, what a stop on the slide. It's there and he's out. Well, instant out Campbell. The hell am I gonna bring in? I bring. I think Dykeman's a little bit better than than uh, Mountcastle right here. I don't think he doesn't strike out as much. So I think he's just more capable of hitting a single. Here's the first pitch. As he'll try to oh. back on the swing, but he went around for the first strike. And he bats in a big spot here. Go ahead and run it third. Two men out. Come set. The 0-1. Pulled high in the air out to right field. Ah, oh, nuts. Garcia is there now to put this one away for the third out as they'll strand that. We're gonna have more baseball. So not a good turn of events for this home crowd as now their ninth inning lead has evaporated. All squared up in Arlington through eight and a half. The Rangers have a chance but to walk it off. These guys are showing me. We'll stay in the ball game as you'd like to do the catching from here out. Cole Sulcer enters to do the pitching, and best case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. Uh, two home runs today. Home run number three right here, as you see what he's done so far in this one. All right, Salser. Swinging there we go. Now it's 0 2. I know that feeling. Played 14 years in the big leagues and still can't hit a slider. I couldn't hit that either. I chased those sliders just like that. This guy's got a good one, and he hasn't thrown it yet in this at bat. And the slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at 2 and 2. Oh no, okay. Good gravy. 
Zunica has him played perfectly. All right, we kept him in the ballpark this time. The batter, the catcher. Up next, Jonah Hine. He struck out swinging in his last trip to the plate. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Hit hard on the ground towards second. He's got it. And that's the second out. Jonathan Arauz will pinch hit here with two outs and the base is empty. Here's the first pitch. As with two away, he'll swing and miss at the first pitch. It's 0-1. Comes into his first at bat at 283. Six home runs and 23 driven in. And he pulled up in time, but it's a called strike two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate, and he'll have another shot at it here. Here's the 0-2. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions he can go in right here. Full count, three balls and two strikes. Boy, he went from being in the driver's seat to now being in some trouble. Had the count 0 and 2, started nipping at the corners, and next thing you know, this count stands at 3 and 2. Zunica gets there for the catch, and that ends the inning. Rangers set down in order, still all square at four apiece. Silvino Braccio takes the mound as he'll be the first. All right, we got a guy with 10.47 ERA, which means he's going to strike out the side on us. Actually, 17 strikeouts in 16 innings, three walks. So he must give up the long ball. And next to bat will be the outfielder. Now the one and one pitch. Oh, and that is good. That is gone. Yes. Brad Zunica, seventh home run. Yes. Solo shot to right center as they've taken a one run lead. Happy about that one. The 12th. I don't know what's with this game, but a lot of left handers have better success against right handers, and a lot of right handers Set have better success against left handers. Or, yeah, it doesn't make sense. First pitch on its way. Out in front there as this one's pulled off to the left side. Into the windup, here comes the 0-1. Fastball well outside. This guy gives me a heart attack every time he gets the ball. And I didn't think that when I was gonna when no I traded for him. I thought maybe you just had bad luck, but it it just seems like he's uh just not the same Richard Rodriguez he was in 2021. Wells to three and one. Great situation right here. Leading off the inning. You've got to find a way to get on base any way possible. But I don't like to take the aggression away from hitters. 
If it's in your zone, oh boy. And I believe your time run's gonna be in scoring position right away as this is down for extra bases. Uh, the throw pulls him off the bag. That's the no perfect team. answer Number after four. you've given up the lead in the Number previous seven. inning. Put the time run on Number second three, yeah. and get the momentum going back in your favor. Now we'll see if they can cash in. Abishail Garcia stands in as he looks at ball one here. They'll go to work on getting that time run home from second. 2-0 the count to the Rangers left fielder. Well, you see this a lot. A guy comes out of the bullpen throwing bullets. But he has a tough time finding the zone. Trust me. Velocity is a great left. And there, he blew another save. He's in there at the point. And we are once again tied in extra innings. You know, d in today's game, it's not easy scoring in the late innings. So that RBI base hit to tie things up, that comes at a really good time. Yeah, I say it's not easy. They got 11 guys in the bullpen. And I don't think a guy throws under 97 miles an hour with sink and cut. That is unbelievable he's able to get that knock in that big spot. Get Underwood up. Mound visit. Time is called, and this might be to buy a little time for that reliever to get loose. Hey, do you know that you suck? Do you know that you're gonna kill our chances? You God, you suck. All right. Now I gotta make sure I do batter here. Double play. Gotta do no doubles defense. Now the outfield shifts into a no-doubles defense after getting the sign from the dugout, basically playing to keep the ball in front of him no matter what. Oh, Close God. there, but he doesn't get the call with the breaking ball. The winning run is at first base. Hanging slider. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. And he looks at one in there, one and two. Fouled off. Again, he sends it out of play. Ready with another two strike offering. He oh, struck him out. God. The third time he's fanned in the game. He put up a pretty good battle at the plate right there. They now finally get him on a one and two pitch, but you can see that he wasn't laying down without a fight. He really made the pitcher earn that strike. Josh Young is the batter now as he looks at a ball of one and oh. Game on the line here. Oh, wouldn't it be something if he hits his third home run? I've never seen anybody hit three home runs. But it would be awesome. I, I would I would go I would I wouldn't care. I wouldn't even care. I'd be so impressed if he hit his third home run. The ball in front of him no matter what. Two and oh now. You thank your lucky stars when you get a chance to hit behind a guy with as much speed as he has on first base. The entire defense is on guard, and you know probably. And hold on there. That's not gonna get him in there with the stolen base. Two and two now. Oh God! So I can't really, I I can't throw it in the zone. I can't throw it too far outside the zone. Oh my goodness! Wait a minute. Go off. Go. Yeah. Off. Back to second as he'll just hold on to it. All right. Because this is no longer. Okay. Now the skipper wants to play him to pull. He's given the signal to shift his outfielders to the left side. Swing and a miss. And Got him. Dodge a major bullet that time. Two away. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough goal that has been played with him. Watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even Dude, what can you, like he I hit was, two home runs today. What are you talking about? Standing in now, Jonah Hyam. He'll take a look at ball one. And he's got a chance to bring in the winning run. Question is whether they'll even pitch to him. 
Yeah, I'm definitely pitching around this guy because I don't think they have anybody on the bench. I'm not giving him anything good to hit. Comes at him with the slider there, and he gets the strike. And he strikes him out to retire the side. So he'll play at least one more. But again, Richard, ah, uh, damn it. Don't you, don't you dare. What are you doing? How are you even being excited about You gave up the freaking game, and you're getting it all hyped up and excited? Go to hell. Ready with another two-strike offering. Moves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep. Oh, my God. center field. Almora. Damn it. Track as he hauls it in for a loud out number one. Had a long now, way to go to make that good. running catch, and here it is wow. again with the show track numbers. Oh, Took a great, great play. Hit, showed nice closing speed and ended up running close to 110 feet to finally bring it in. If I had no anybody God, else at first base, I could have tagged up. Now a ball line hard. Oh, and seven. there we go. And he is going to have extra bases to I think that's going to be another triple. Will be in scoring position. Oh, and no, he stays like in second. That, Base with a lead off double. Jeez. That was a pretty good fastball, and it almost got by him. He's able to snap it in the gap. Why is he stealing? Because of the glossy off the bat, the outfielders couldn't cut it off in time and allowed him to cruise into second really easy. What's that saying? You play to win the game? Well, that was a big roll. Wow, okay. But it looks pretty genius now that it worked out. Now they just need to execute at the plate. And that was going very up. risky. All right, well, here we go. I think we're going to lose right here. And now the outfield has moved in as the potential winning run sits just 90 feet away. That's it. Game over. Great win for the Rangers and and our bullpen is horrible out when it comes to the late innings. Naris Richard Rodriguez blows another save. Dwayne Underwood just can't get it done. Cole Solcer is basically our best guy and. Jolie Rodriguez oh. his fourth game out of the bullpen this year. So that's a wrap here tonight. But Mark what a that was a game. That was a good game. You've been watching MLB the show. For Almost 11. Time Twitter for bed. At MLB the show. And thanks for joining me. And boy, Josh Jung. The final line.